Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, my name's Matt Cronick. I'm uh, just going to tell you a little bit about myself before I start. I'm actually a third year politics student and philosophy student. And so when I told my granddad um, I was going to study politics at university, he doesn't like politicians. He said to me, you have to learn how to lie, cheat, to steal and deceive. I said, granddad, I'm a magician. I've been doing that for years. <laughs> I'm actually going to be showing you a couple of my favorite tricks. Uh, the first trick I'm going to do is the first trick I ever learned. I learned this trick when I was four years old. You've probably heard of it. It's called the cups and balls. Um, a couple of things about it. Normally I have a a wand which isn't broken. Unfortunately, it broke the other day in practice. So I'm going to be using half a wand. It still works though. With that trick, I'm also going to be... Um, now, who's ever seen a cup and balls before? Who's seen that? Has anyone ever seen it? The people who've seen me before. <laughs> right, but this is my favourite trick. Um, as I said, I first learned it when I was four years old. I hope I've improved since then. It uses three cups and three balls. Can you all hear me if I'm yeah. talking away from the mic? So you've got three cups and you've got three balls over here. A couple of things about the tricks. We'll move the mic slightly. A couple of things. If you were to take the cups, they pass right through the other one like so. Little basic introduction. Three cups, three balls, a magic wand. And because I talk a lot, nice up. Now watch the first ball over here. Ball. Inside of the hand, you take the wand. It's gone. That's what you do, you start off. You take the second ball. Inside the hand, you tap. Gone. Third ball. Ball number three. Take it inside the hand, you tap. Do you mind standing up for me, please, sir? Do you mind standing up for us? Do you mind placing your hand inside your right jean pocket? Are they in there? Of course we're not, you silly one. Sit back down. <laughs> And there's the first one, there's the second one, there's the third one. Now that is very basic. Um, now about 200 years ago the trick changed. You place one underneath of each of the cups. One ball underneath of each of the cups. What's your name, sorry? Sorry, I'm sorry I picked on you. Now I've got number one, I've got number two, I've got number three. Which one do you want? Middle one, number two. So what's the ball leave number two? The ball's vanished. Where would you like it to go? This one or this one? This one here? Number one. So watch, the ball leaves number two, it joins number one. Oh. Now that's a really basic form of magic. I'll try it again in slow motion. I know what you're wondering, you want to know how did I know you picked number one? But you probably didn't notice me going, which one do you want? Which one do you want? That's called misdirection, it's called psychological warfare. Now watch the ball go inside the cup. This time we're going to replace it, it's going to go to this cup. Just in case you're open, that's why the leaf here, jump into here, two there, none there, one here. <laughs> now what I'm going to do now, two on the bottom, one at the top, that's my favourite position. You place one at the top, you start with the cup, so they'll throw it down the side to see all three collect underneath of the centre cup. There's one, empty, empty. Now, I am going to explain to you exactly how this trick works. It works by magic. So watch. <laughs> ball number two, ball number three. You take the one, you tap, you tap, you tap. You see, that one's gone, that one's gone. All of them are in there. Now, I am going to explain to you how it works. I did lie. It works by misdirection. You're following too many objects. Three cups, three balls, a magic wand, and I'm talking all at the same time, hard for you to follow. So watch, one ball underneath of each of the cups. I'm even going to get rid of the wand. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get rid of one of the balls, make it easier for you to follow. Ball number one, inside my pocket. Ball number two, inside my pocket. How many balls are left in the game? One, and it's underneath this cup. Remember, one ball, that cup. Big question though, why is this ball over here? I'll explain it to you. See, the ball never goes inside of my pocket. I only pretend to place the ball inside of my pocket. It's called misdirection. <laughs> you think that the ball's going inside my pocket, but it never leaves the hand. I could do this all day. Now, you see, the ball's over here. There's nothing underneath the cup. All I've got to do is just drop the ball, as pick up the cup, create the illusion there's a ball underneath the cup the whole time, you stupid audience. Now, how many balls are underneath one percent of the cup over here? How many balls are underneath this cup here? Two. Two, no, three. Now, watch all three. As all three go 
go inside of my pocket, how many is underneath the centre cup? Huh? No. No, the giant ball. What I decide, and because the magicians have a tendency to make things vanish, we carry the action just in case. And that is the mystery of the cups and balls.